At this point, I'm assuming that you've read the title. Yeah. It's pretty self-explanatory, to be honest. So, I'm there, just chilling, just, you know, slaying some editing, playing a near-perfect game. And then, I get this email. Hello? Oh, it's an email. <laughs> Do you want to play a zero-g part of Prey while you're in a skydiving chamber? Yes. Yes, I do. I mean, I can't actually imagine it happening, but one way to find out. So the day comes. I get up at the crack of dawn. Matt, my cameraman, and myself head to the city to be picked up at Bethesda's secret rendezvous point. We jump into a super secret vehicle that totally wasn't a hire car and make our way west. Eventually, we reach our destination. I fly in Penrith. And I want to give a big props to them for making this happen. Bethesda's community staff basically went to them like, yeah, we want to play an Xbox game while in the skydiving chamber. And the iFly guys were like, yeah, let's make that happen. So again, thanks to iFly for allowing this to go down because when I read that email, I was like, there's no way this is actually going to happen. Once we got inside, I realized I'd made an error. Anyway, no turning back. When I learned I'd have an Xbox One controller zip tied and duct taped to my arm, I realized this was legit. I will actually be playing Prey while inside that thing. As you can see, I'm being responsible and getting warmed up before the game. Get some pinball in and then into the iFly chamber. Here I am just warming up, getting some blood pumping. It's pretty weird because it seems really difficult, but when you're in there, like it all comes pretty naturally. If you think I'm good, you should see the pros. Ah, uh, nah, that is the pro, our instructor Kermit. At this point, I was so keen to get in there and show off my epic skills. Dude, I look like I'm at some kind of Three Stooges levitation lesson. Luckily, I had the full moral support of the Bethesda team behind me. <laughs> I couldn't be in there for a second without rising or falling three meters and spinning 180 degrees. I know at this point, at least myself and probably everyone else in the room was like, how on earth are they ever going to play an Xbox game while doing that? Luckily, I had one more practice run before we actually had to play Prey while in the skydiving chamber. And I feel like I was getting the hang of it more. I could tell because Bethesda staff weren't laughing at me anymore. Although I did hear one of them whisper off camera, oh God, what have we done? Which is all always reassuring to hear from the people that organized it. And just as I was beginning to feel it, Kermit, the iFly instructor, broke my trust and went full into Stella. I mean, I totally had control of this whole situation. It was just showing off some of my flying skills that I learned in Morrowind, proving why they should bring back levitation. But the name of this game is Prey something I was about to become. As my time drew closer, the tone became more serious. Duct tape and cable ties around my hairy wrist, one of the many sacrifices I made that day. The time had come. I was ready to fly through space in prey while flying elegantly in real life. I was born for this. As one they fear, come on! Like born. No, it's actually much less epic than that. I had a mission to find the body of a doctor in space and get back safely to Talos 1 within two minutes. Seriously though, this was the hardest thing I've ever done while trying to play a video game. I was nailing it though, flying through space like nobody's business. I had more control than the control key on a keyboard. Smooth, easy to follow flight paths. I knew what was up and what was down. I totally didn't die within the first 30 seconds by flying full speed into the side of Talos 1. Of course, that didn't happen. No, 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 no. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah, I died. I died so hard. Did he die? <laughs> I was gonna go in for a second try, but it was a pre-release version of Prey and the loading screen took ages. So I had to evacuate the chamber before I was blown to bits by the howling wind turbines. I had failed my mission. Not that you'd be able to tell from the smoothness of the footage. Dan from GameSpot was up next. He spent most of his time making out with the glass, but hey. He's only human and that is some nice glass. Unfortunately, Dan also died swiftly by slamming into Talos 1 at terminal velocity. We both had not met the challenge, but then it was Kermit's turn. The men of the hour went in and 100% did not show off. And while Kermit, the iFly instructor, did not complete the challenge, 
He also didn't die abruptly in space, like myself and Dan did, so I guess Kermit is the only human to survive flying through space in prey while flying in real life. He is uh, officially the world's best skydiving Xbox One player. Quickly, someone call Guinness. And that is that, a crazy PR stunt by Bethesda. It worked, I flew, Kermit slew, and all my hair got knotted in ways that only quantum physicists can understand. Luckily I was able to get all the knots out, as you can see my hair is now luscious and uh, nice and not uh, unknotted. Ugh. But I would like to thank iFly and Bethesda both for making this happen, iFly for letting it happen, and for Bethesda for coming up with the idea and also inviting me to do it. And I suppose thanks to Arcane Studios for making Prey an awesome game. So thank you very much for watching, be sure to leave a like as I risked my life for your entertainment, this time not in Skyrim. And if you enjoyed this be sure to subscribe for more vloggish styled content coming up, with some special events coming up the next week or two, and also E3 coming up. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. See you there.